Okay, so I just got home from seeing Godzilla minus one. So you may want to say that this is sort of, you know, like my out of the theater reaction to the movie. So I've been hearing a lot of really good things about this movie from a lot of people that I trust. So I wanted to go see this movie, but due to circumstances, I wasn't able to go right away. Finally was able to go see it this morning. A very, very early matinee. Just got out like maybe 15, 20 minutes ago. So I still had the movie very fresh in my mind. So I'm going to give my thoughts. I'm going to try to stay as spoiler free as possible because I don't want to like spoil this movie for anyone. Um, I will tell you this. I left this movie completely, completely just blown away. I was blown away by this movie. I wasn't expecting this movie to be that. I wasn't expecting the movie to have so many different layers. I'll just say that. You know, recently the the American made Godzilla movies have not been hitting it for me. Right, I I haven't enjoyed them. You know, the first one that America made that um. The guy from Rogue One directed, I completely forgot his name now, um, Gareth Edwards, he directed. I just didn't like it. Aaron Taylor Johnson, I just did not like that movie. It was very, very centered around human characters, but the problem was the human characters wasn't really good. And then we got, you know, God, what was it, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. I, I really hated that movie. And then Godzilla versus Kong, which the battles were fine, but again, the human element absolutely sucked. So going into this movie, I had the past American movies on my mind, which I did not like any of them. So I went into this movie just hearing a lot of really good things. Now, there's a big difference between Godzilla movies from Japan and Godzilla movies made in America. Like Godzilla movies in Japan are Godzilla movies. You know, that like that's the origin of Godzilla is from Japan. So they 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 tend to do these things better than what the American, you know, filmmakers do. And I walked into this movie and I walked out of this movie absolutely just floored at how good this movie absolutely is this movie is absolutely phenomenal like right now it's in my top three best movies of the year could be my number one movie of the year i don't know it's like a three horse race for my number one movie of the year uh this movie has so many different layers it is so fantastic godzilla is almost like an afterthought to everything else that goes on in the movie which is kind of weird right you go to a godzilla movie you're looking to see godzilla some kaijus like all kinds of crazy stuff but really at the heart of this movie was this kamikaze soldier who fled from his duty and then have to deal with the consequences of his actions and dealing with the ghosts and demons that he's been fighting for years since that moment. And it's a redemption story. It's a, it's so, it's so like the movie is so deep and so layered. It takes place after the events of world war two, which is a time period that I am fascinated with the events of world war two. It, it's just a time period in history that I'm just fascinated by, you know, the bombing of Pearl Harbor, the atomic, everything about that time period in our history is very, very fascinating from the historical of, uh, event to me. So I was already drawn in by the fact that this is taking place post world war two. And then you have this kamikaze fighter who was supposed to sacrifice himself for the good of his country and his people. And you kind of see this. And, and, and instead of doing so, he chickened out, fled, and you kind of see how the, the results of his, the consequences of his actions affect other people around him. You know, he comes back, things aren't the way, it, you know, it is. He has to lie to people and tell them that his plane is like malfunction, you know, and, and people resent him for what, what happened and for him you know, not doing his duty, not, you know, sacrificing himself for his people. And, and it's real, really deep and real, really emotional. And you're following this character as he's trying to continue to go through life. And he's still haunted every day by the demons and ghosts of the actions that he chose not to do. And in the background of all this, all this drama, all this deep story, you know, the, the character piece that is this movie in the backdrop, you have this prehistoric dinosaur looking creature, which is Godzilla, which is showing up at the end of World War II, where this country is trying to basically rebuild after the events of the United States dropping the atomic bombs. You have Godzilla coming out of nowhere, wreak, wrecking more havoc. This country and this, this city and this town is trying to rebuild. 
after the events of World War II. You have this guy struggling with these demons. And then in the process of that, you have this giant monster that just shows up and just wrecks havoc even more. And to make it worse that this character or the, these characters are trying to take on this demon, trying to take on this monster, and they can't get any help from any other, like, like they can't get help from the United States because the United States is in like a power struggle with the Soviet Union. So if the United States moves on a certain, like if they act, it, it's basically like an act of war and it could result in another, you know, giant war. So the United States is unable to act. They're, Japan is a no, no, position to do anything against this giant monster and it basically goes into the hands of the, the people and the citizens of japan and this fighter pilot who ran away from his duties is now faced with okay here's my second chance to redeem myself and i just found the whole movie absolutely phenomenal like it's just phenomenal not only was the plot of the movie capital captivating where i was just sucked into everything that was going on in the movie but visually the aesthetic of the movie is so well filmed and so well acted i, I really cared about all these characters i like the the the, the centerpieces of the the sets and all that stuff i the seed look the cgi of godzilla himself looks great at some points and some points it doesn't but you do not care because godzilla i promise you you will go see this movie and i promise you you will forget godzilla like like he was even a thing you'll be so swept up in the story of these characters something something united states godzilla movies have not done well right we we have these human characters but we don't care about any of them we do not care about any of these human characters right it, it's it, like the plot of the the american godzilla movies are so asinine and so ridiculous it's 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 just it's awful right it's it's just awful whereas in japan they take this movie very very serious like we're giving you this hard hitting heart wrenching drama with many many layers of this character and we're also throwing in a giant kaiju there's a reason why like japanese culture hits certain levels right like you look at anime you look at manga compared to united states comics and united states cartoon right there's a level of maturity there there's a level of seriousness and there's a level of you know doing this with as much care and making people believe that this could actually happen and it's just, it's just a whole nother level it's a culture thing it's a culture thing there's a difference with japan doing this and taking something very very serious and then having something like you know the united states you not you know american directors and like okay americans just want to see like you know action they don't care about all the drama and stuff and that's further from the truth one reason why jaws was so awesome and the one reason why jaws still remains like in my top five favorite movies of all time was because it was a character piece of this sheriff and these people on this island and the shark was secondary although the shark was very important we care about the characters involved and that is what japan is able to do with godzilla and do with this movie whereas we care about the characters involved we care about you know and, and that's something that gareth edward with all due respect wasn't able to achieve with the godzilla movie that he did i i felt like they had something with the brian cranston character but then you know that kind of fizzled out after the first 30 minutes and now we're, we're only left with this this very monotone boring soldier and aaron taylor johnson whereas in this movie we are following this character with his struggles with his demons you know dealing with the emotional damage that he has suffered and in the backdrop we have this giant giant you know kaiju monster that is just wrecking havoc across japan and it's very it, it I, I gotta tell you, i cannot praise this movie enough i really really cannot praise this movie enough um i highly recommend it yes i understand it is not dubbed it is all subtitled it is a foreign film but it, it it's so good it's so good like like, like it, i i could talk about this movie for hours and i just had such a great time 
seeing this movie that like I want to go see it again. I'm probably gonna pick this thing up once it gets released, like digitally. Like as soon as it's able to be bought, I'm gonna buy this movie and watch it again. Uh, it's just a phenomenal movie. It's a three horse race for me right now because I wasn't expecting this movie to be that good, and I absolutely just positively enjoyed this movie so much. It's a three horse race for my movie of the year right now, and Godzilla minus one is definitely in that top three race for my number one movie of the year phenomenal movie fantastic but that's just my thoughts on it guys i wonder what you guys think have you seen it yet have you been waiting to see it i definitely recommend you go see it leave those comments in the comment box below smash that like and subscribe button until next time as always i am robert storms and that's my opinion